Hi, welcome back to the study of the Gospel of John. This is Dr. Choni again. Today I want to cover John chapter 20 verses 6 to 10. My title is Seeing is Believing. Then Simon Peter came along behind him, that means behind John, and went straight into the tomb. He saw the strips of linen lying there, as well as the cloth that had been wrapped around Jesus' head. See, the cloth is used to put on, cover the head, while the linen uh, is wrapped around the body. The cloth was still lying there in its place, separate from the linen. Finally, the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went inside. So John, who reached the tomb first, um, also followed Peter, who had entered the tomb. He saw and believed. So John saw the linen and he believed what the women said, that Jesus was no longer in the tomb. The body of Jesus was no more there. They still did not understand from the scripture that Jesus had to rise from the dead. Then the disciples went back to where they were staying. So, Peter, as I said, went into the tomb and then followed by John. And when John saw the, that the body was not there, then he believed. He believed what the women had reported, that Jesus is no more in the tomb. After seeing the proof that Jesus had risen, the disciples still did not understand or remembered that Jesus must rise again. They did not understand. In their mind, they must be thinking, who has taken the body? Okay, What happened to the body? How come the body is not there? So, in John 2, 19, Jesus had already mentioned, Destroy this temple and I will raise it up in three days. So at this point, they still did not, they were not able to connect the dot of what Jesus has said earlier and what is happening now. Or what has happened now. See, many people are like this disciple, uh, Thomas, who said, unless I see the, the nail, the hole in the hand of Jesus, I will not believe that he has risen. Jesus had claimed to be God. And he had proven to be God by his fulfilling his own prophecies that he will rise again. And also by the miracles that he has performed that ordinary man cannot, that prove that he is God. Yet many people during his time saw the miracles, saw, heard his teaching, heard his claims and yet still do not believe. Recently, I was sharing with a young guy, an engineer, about what is happening in the world and how it has been fulfilling Bible prophecies and also the prophecies of present-day prophets like Mark Taylor, Kat Kerr, Sadhu Sunda Salvaraj and TB Joshua. This guy said to me, I do not believe you. 
See, there are two types of people in this world. One is those who take who are taking red pills. And these are people who believe you when you tell them the truth and you prove to them that this is the truth. What you are telling them is the truth. And they will believe you. But there are people who are taking blue pills. There are people who just refuse to believe. They are just want to cling on to the lies that they have believed. And so, even if you prove to them the, the, what is true, they will still say, like what this uh, young engineer that I was talking to, I don't believe you. Jesus said in Mark 8, 18, he says that there are people who have eyes that cannot see and ears that do not hear. So I pray that you will be willing to open your eyes to see the truth. Open your ears to hear the truth and be red-pilled and not blue-pilled. People who just stubbornly cling on to what they believe is true when it was a lie. And I pray that you will know the truth in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, signing off and may God bless you.